नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर टीचर एजुकेशन एंड अबाउट माइक्रो टीचिंग आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग वन मोर न्यू माइक्रो टीचिंग ई स्किल विच विल हेल्पफुल फॉर द टीचर्स स्टूडेंट टीचर्स टू लर्न सम ई स्किल्स एंड आई हैव नेम्ड इट ऑनलाइन ट्यूटरिंग वीडियो मेकिंग स्किल न्यू माइक्रो टीचिंग ई स्किल as we know micro teaching is very essential part of pre service teacher training program where we teach them most of the traditional teaching skills like explanation blackboard writing so all the skills are somewhere related with the face to face teaching and learning process but now there are many other options available where teacher needs to perform different roles so that's why they need some uh, special e skills if those are not the part of the micro teaching they may not able to acquire it that's why if we start it or begin it from the pre service teacher training itself so student teacher will be more techno savvy and they will there perform their uh, role in the era of technology very nicely so i am suggesting uh, some new skills which will help student teacher to acquire some e skills to uh, use the technology now there are many uh, apps and there are youtube channel where online tutoring video, video are used so first i will explain what is online tutoring videos so these online tutoring videos are pre recorded and not live means they are a synchronized technology these videos are in one way communication mode so you can run that video and you can just see it so you cannot have communication at the time of the teaching because video is already recorded only a tutor and study material are appear in a video generally you do see in a mooc courses a presenter is there and they present maybe powerpoint presentation or some other learning material like you are watching this video students are not the part of that video that is called online tutoring video so students are assumed that they are watching that particular video online now what i mean when i am saying online tutoring video making skill so online tutoring video uh, video making skill means a video which would be available for the student to access on different e learning platforms like youtube swayam or websites of the school university mooc or some portals where that video will be placed and will be available for the students to access it this particular e skill will enable the student teacher to develop online tutoring video and of course it's a combination of technology and pedagogy so they should not focus only either part of the teaching this online uh, teaching skills should be included in the micro teaching program of all teacher education courses like dtet bed integrated bed etc etc so i am proposing this e skill so that the, it can be refined by the board of study members expert teacher educators uh, all the school teacher anyone can modify it anyone can refine it and i just want this concept to be introduced not necessary you should accept as it is so it can be also used for in service teacher training programs by the institutions or the training institutions so uh, because the student the teachers who completed their their bed maybe uh, bed or dd maybe few years back so they don't have that skill at that time the demand of on online tutorial video was not there but is there today and they want to learn and you will find there is no proper proper way to learn those video making skills so if now we know those skills are required for the teacher so we need to incorporate this uh, online tutoring video making skill in our micro teaching itself if someone wants to learn how to make the uh, the video they themselves can learn by watching this uh, video itself so it's a technology it's a synchronous technology skill means when 
video is spread uh, when uh, it's not a live interaction i presented one uh, skill in a previous video that was synchronous that was live teaching skill it, this is a synchronous teaching skill so how to conduct a lesson the duration as usual should be 5 minutes student teacher should select a particular topic or particular standard and they should prepare a lesson plan and take the guidance from teacher educators then teacher as per the guidance then student teacher should record a video of 5 minutes and they should show it to the group so group will observe that lesson along with the teacher educators and peer and teacher educator will discuss on that video itself so this lesson will not be presented lively or this present uh, the teacher will not take a lesson like as is well takes in the traditional lesson but she will show a video of a uh, video of a lesson so she will show her video and on the basis of the suggestions and feedback she will remake that video and again will show to the group in this way this teach and re uh, reteach cycle will work student teacher can make a video by uh, on smartphone or laptop or digital camera whatever devices they available and uh, they should use some app to edit the video because when they are recording the video the initial part the end part that that should be excluded or some additions can be done some captions should be there so they should able to use the some video editing app now selection of a plot where to be where the video will be shooted on what background it is that plot like it is classroom or it's at home or in some uh, room so the plot the app and a device should be a choice of the student teacher let them select let them think on it where they want to shoot shoot and or what device they want to use student teacher should be oriented properly about the technology and pedagogical skills and then only they should allow to take the lessons or to go for the lesson plan student teacher can shoot a video in a college or home or elsewhere that is decided by the uh, curriculum because uh, she only it, it will be the part of that video so it can be shooted anywhere teacher educator should uh, use rating scale or rubrics any evaluation tool that is uh, prescribed in the syllabus or she can develop it i am going to present one rating scale in this uh, video in case of non availability of the recording devices to the students sharing should be allowed they can borrow it anyone and uh, they can help uh, they can take the help of each other to uh, shoot a lesson so technology should not be barrier in this e skill and more than that teacher educators even uh, should be trained in this e skill first they should be oriented about the pedagogy and technology of this e skill and then only they will able to guide their student teacher properly this is the observation rating scale of the lesson this will help full teacher educator to evaluate this particular micro teaching e skill and also it will help a student teacher to understand what what and how the lesson will be more effective these are sub skills 10 sub skills that i have drawn out so you can modify it you can add it uh, uh, you can uh, you can change it the 10 uh, these uh, red marks those are showing the marks given by the teacher educators rating given by, given by the teacher educators you can modify these uh, sub skills i have made this one for just an understanding now i will explain one by one sub skill what does actually it means and how we can give them a mark introduction when that self uh, when the the online video tutoring uh, will be prepared it should be begin with the self intro like telling the name like it it is uh, appeared in the videos because uh, it is assumed that this lesson this uh, video will be available on the internet and maybe no one knows you so that's why you need to introduce first yourself then you need to give that topic intro and you should link your uh, content with the previous knowledge and you should conduct some activity or show something that will arouse the, the students curiosity in the lesson second sub skill how you will uh, give the marks or rating to the student see the plot 
in the plot means what is there in the background or uh, in the front of the teacher student teacher so first see the place support a place with the support material like table board or hook or nails whether they are put there if those if those are used by the student, student teacher in a in a lesson so it should be available over there it may not be part of the or it may be part of the frame then no relevant object should be kept around the teacher now somewhere some uh, books are kept unnecessarily or some calendar is hanging some poster is there so these unnecessary things should not be there in the background of the student teacher so student will focus only on the teacher not on the other object in the background the uh, the presenter should be highlighted in the in the video so there should be proper light on the presenter and the background should be fade and all the things are around kept in the in the plot should be neat and clean should not be creating any disturbance or distraction to the students third sub skill use of study material a student to teacher should use variety of e material like diagram photos tablets and charts when if they are using e material it means at the time of presentation of or recording the video they are not using it but it can be added later on by using some video editing apps if not student teacher can use some hard material they can show it uh, in front of the camera like posters maps and charts and photographs or they can use the the whiteboard blackboard whatever available to them so whatever teaching material are presented it should be relevant accurate it should have great clarity if you are showing poster on the camera so it should be hold properly at the duration of holding that poster or thing in front of the camera should be proper so it should be kept for the proper time so everyone can observe it what is there in the in the diagram in the in the material so and it should be visible it should be clear if you are using some offline uh, or the printed mode materials fourth illustration of the content is nothing but the explanation of the content so there should be this is again the pedagogical aspect of this lesson there should be clarity of the explanation then the examples and the proof should be given it this is all the pedagogical part the content part it should be related to the daily life of the student and uh, when you are they are using some uh, teaching aid those should be related with the content they should use the proper terminology of the subject and vocabulary should be enough to explain the concept so this is the pedagogical aspect now this is technological aspect audio quality of the video the volume should be good enough there should be clarity in the recording of the voice there should not be any te technical noise during the recording in that video sometimes it happens some uh, signal uh, noise or some you know using microphone mic that even disturb sometime the when they are recording something or surround surrounding noise that something going the activity is going around and those are recorded so it should be avoided six sub skill the video quality the frame should be proper so teacher uh, should be standing a proper in the proper position and in the maybe in the middle of the board if uh, she is standing and explaining something on the board so she she should uh, stand aside with the board not to the in front of the board so in that way frame uh, means or some it should be a properly distant uh, kept on the face above the head the frame should be stable there should be stability so student teacher when they are recording the videos they should they should maintain the stability they can they can use the camera or they can make some other arrangement like a stand mobile stand or something else there should be proper bri brightness uh, in the video proper contrast should be there the color saturation should be uh, natural it should not be too colorful or less colorful i am talking about the technical part and the sharpness of video should be <coughs> good so student can see all the clarity of the images technical specification of the video should be checked that the resolution it is uh, hd or hd hd plus why it should be take because sometime when uh, some online websites offering some asking some video they give a specific resolution 
so it should be in hd or hd plus because how you go for the higher side the size of the uh, video even increases the ratio should be checked whether it's proper or not one by one four by three anything can be taken but that should be suitable for that particular video and content presentation and that should help the student to learn if you are taking this third one 9 by 16 ratio means it's a it's a vertical ratio it's the mobile ratio standing mobile ratio so if you are taking that ratio so you may not able to show many things in it if you are taking 16 by 9 ratio so you get, you have a, lot, a broader frame so many things can be shown by the student so i would like to recommend a 16 by 9 ratio for these educational videos you also the size in mb should be uh, considered because if the file has too big so it's difficult to upload and even difficult to download or difficult to access to the student so better it should have optimum size when you are going for higher resolution you need to uh, compromise with the mbs because it, it is going to sometime in uh, 500 mbs 700 mbs so it that should be even considered so the middle size the the optimum size should be there and the file type should be uh, selected properly because you know or sometimes or some uh, some files are not cannot be played on all the video players so it should be normally it should be mp4 avi or mpg so the uh, more commonly used file type should be selected by the student teacher to make that particular video then student teacher also should use some uh, video editing apps to add e material like the diagram in the diagram or some uh, boards or some images in the during the during this online video tutoring there should become captions like name or uh, name of the presenter or standard division that should be mentioned subject that should be mentioned in the caption so those will come in front uh, on the video to trim uh, a video so video should start with the intro and it should be uh, end with the egg, uh, outro there should not be uh, a more video before video and after video it should not be the part of this online tutoring video and if required they need to apply some audio and visual effect because sometimes they need to brighten the video so that uh, tool should be used so that should be referred by the teacher educator whether student teacher used those feature or not on screen presence of a tutor student teacher should be present uh, presentable in front of the camera uh, the way of intro and outro like uh, like in intro they, they are supposed to say something about themselves and at the outro also they should uh, make a proper outro of the video their confidence their gestures and posture how they are standing how they are presenting how they are explaining the things and their external appearance uh, like their attire and all these things and their uh, it should be neat and clean sober and decent then style of communication should be user friendly should be uh, should not be too much technical or should not be too much informal it should be a proper balance between both uh, there should be command on language whatever medium of instruction is there and they should be audible and the last sub skill that should be observed the time management so it's the lesson should be the video lesson should be approximately of 5 minutes and optimum time should be given for the content presentation not to the intro and outro and uh, whenever because that's why they need to uh, the use of the video editing app because suppose they are uh, showing something showing the diagram so in the this it should not be the part of video that that they are going out of the frame and they are bringing that poster and then showing and then again taking so that should not be part of the video that should be edited in the video they should be directly with the holding the poster or showing the map or so whatever activity they in so in between activities should be trimmed by using some uh, video editing apps so op and in that case only optimum time can be given for the content presentation so uh, even the content wise the the proper portion should be time portion should be given to each explain each concept and the time taken for the intro and outro should be also considered uh, it should not be too lengthy or too brief so in this way these are 10 sub skills in this way uh, there can be 10 sub skills of these online video tutoring skills on the basis of these 10 sub skills the lesson can be observed and student can be rated
this online video tutoring skill is very useful to uh, teach online uh, to teach online to learn how to teach online if they are good enough in this uh, online uh, video tutoring skill they will able to uh, upload make their videos for mooc platforms open learning platforms it is also useful to make videos for e learning portal because nowadays there are many teachers they are opening their youtube channel they are creating some uh, mooc courses so they need to learn these things so in this way you can uh, just go through again all the sub skills and you can modify it and you can use it uh, this all material is used, is uh, i will i am making available free for edit free for modify and i just request to all the board of study members or experts or teacher educators to please include these e skills in the micro teaching skills so student teacher will be more enable and they will become 360 degree developed teacher thank you